everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3 and looking at the next topic is 3.3.3 Synchronization between TAS and SUT part 2, which is a subtopic under the TAS development. In the previous tutorial, we understood about the TAS development lifecycle, that the software development lifecycle, how exactly it moves around and then comes back to the execution of the entire thing. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and further to understand the synchronization between TAS and SUT, which is in terms of evolution. That how exactly other activities can associate in terms of synchronization between SUT and TAS, and how the cycles are basically coordinated between the different phases of software development lifecycle. So here, if you see, both the SUT and the TAS can evolve to accommodate new features or disable features to correct defects or to address changes in their environment. As well as, when you talk about any changes applied to the SUT or to a TAS may impact the other, so the management of these changes should address both SUT and TAS. So in the previous tutorial, also as a part of the part one, we understood about the synchronization between requirements, defect tracking, and the management of several things that has told us already about like the synchronization which should be required. Here, we are trying to understand further. So if you look at the diagram here, the two synchronization approaches, what we'll be understanding in this tutorial. So where the first approach is shown here in the diagram, the figure shows an approach where the two SDLC process for the SUT and the tasks are mainly synchronized in the two different phases. The first, the task analysis is based on the SUT design. As you can see there, or whatever we have is uh, like the design of SUT will be used as a part of task analysis and the other way around, which will be dependent on the SUT analysis as well. Following that, the test design, uh, testing of the SUT makes use of the deployed task as well. So on the other side, if you see the task deployed will be uh, considering the SUT testing outcomes to, to determine how it will be deployed further including the task test as well. Further, as we continue, we have the task development in terms of uh, the SUT consideration, which is a second approach, where we are not just limited to SUT and TAS. It may be also software testing for the manual and automation testing considerations. So how does it really relate in terms of automation and manual testing? So here, the figure shows a hybrid approach, which concludes uh, both manual and automated testing. So there are several parts of the application which are tested manually. There are other parts of it which are tested automatically. So how does that impact a SUT or task dependency in terms of that? So here, one side, we are looking at the SUT, as SDLC. On the other side, we are looking at the SDLC for the automated testing. And then we have SDLC for the manual testing. So if you see here, the design is again related to analysis, the task analysis based on SUT and manual tests. So both the ways, and similar way on the other side, we do have SUT test, which is just on the test deploy. The second major synchronization point for such an approach, which is as before, the SUT testing requires deployed test, which in the case of manual test could just be the manual test procedure to be followed. So I hope you got this point and understood this tutorial, which was about synchronization of the task and the SUT. So that's all from this particular tutorial team, and we're done with 3.3.3, synchronization between TAS and the SUT. So should you have anything else, please feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer it in more details. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.